Hola, and the theme for one really this month is change, and that's what I'm going to talk to you about today. I those cosas that I think about when I think of change. One is power, and the other one's adventure. The reason I associate adventure with change is because growing up and moving to different places, different cities, I learned to associate changing where you are at in life with always expecting better things. Y para muchos inmigrantes, that's the reason they leave where they're from to find bigger and better things, right? Kind of why a lot of people come to the U.S. Now, I associate power with change because I had a revelation when I was maybe 20 years old. When I went to university for the first time when I was 17, I went to the other side of the country. I went up on, you know, one of those life-changing adventures. It didn't really turn out the way I wanted it. I, did, I wasn't having many positive experiences after a while. In the middle of my junior year, I got back to campus a few days before class was officially started. And so I remember I had to go buy groceries to Target. My earmuffs had broken before I left for Christmas break, but I forgot to get new earmuffs. And so I had short hair back then and I remember walking down this path to take the bus and it was so windy and snowy that like my ears were burning, my nose hurt so bad, it was burning. Y me enojé tanto, I was so pissed and I remember thinking I am never walking down this fucking road again. And something clicked in my head that told me, you know, you need to be home, you need to leave here, you're not enjoying your time. And somehow, in that moment, I was infinite. No, I wasn't. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I mean, in that moment, somehow, you know when you have like that magical opening of a thought? It's not even a thought, but you just have that feeling that, and your life changes. I had one of those moments then. I realized one of the things that makes you an adult is that you have the power to decide what life you live what life you don't live, and at what point you want to change whatever life you're living. And, you know, I realized it's okay to say you made a mistake and just go back home and figure out what school you actually want to go to. And the reason I wanted to make this wonderfully themed video is because I'm going through a lot of change right now. I came home again from one of my adventures, which if you even watched videos before me, which I took down because they're awful, you know that I left LA for a teaching job across the country, Mississippi. I need to find a place to live, I need to find roommates. This time, now being 25, this change feels a lot more like power. Whereas the time that I came home from university, that change felt like failure. And even though I feel like I did fail some people in it, because I didn't keep my promises to stay where I was, I, I feel like this is a positive change because I would have failed myself had I not left the situation that I was in. And the reasons for the move, I guess, are not really relevant to this video. Maybe I'll explain it in the future. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But yeah, I feel so much more strongly now about change being tied to power and your power as an adult and as a person to direct your own life. And you know, change feels so surreal. I keep telling people around me that I feel like I'm in the matrix. Like one day my reality was you know, this one and I drove through different roads and I went to work at certain places and I went to eat and see and saw certain people and it's like suddenly I yanked my car from to another lane and I'm in this totally different reality and three days ago my reality was different, four days ago my reality was different because I was driving through the US to get home and it just feels so weird and change feels weird and scary but it feels like adventure and it feels like power.